figured out to make another run uh, while I got off a little earlier, but I want to go to bed earlier than planned. Uh, oh, that's not something he's going to let us buy, but we're kind of doing something here. But anyway, figured we'd do a short run to uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. Uh, rock bucket for a Volvo. Pretty good sized bucket, if you ask me. And uh, we are back in the John Ritter 389 because we're still trying to figure out what happens whenever you let your tires go bad. Other than it being slick during it raining, uh, nothing really else has happened. I'm hoping something else will happen. We're at like, what was it, 55%. Uh, we're on 152 miles. Not a really long run. I tried to do some more last night. Uh, mileage wise but I was just too tired after making my other video um, and these are pre-made videos so that way in case I have to work later uh, you'll at least have something come out without having to worry about thinking I'm not coming back on here to do any more content but I plan on doing a lot more content look at the reflection you can see the stop sign wow anyway sorry a little distraction here a little tired I gotta be at work at 4 in the morning for a meeting just crazy if you ask me but you know it's how it is it's every once in a while we get these meetings and have to plan for it and just compensate other than that uh, I do plan on doing some other videos and everything I finally got my ethernet cable in today which will be yesterday whenever this video comes out but I ain't had I ain't gonna have time to run it to my Ethernet uh, to my router actually uh, just yet because uh, I'm gonna have to be at work so early in the morning and I just want to get this video knocked out so that way y'all yeah, have something else to watch while I'm working but other than that let's get ro uh, starter up and let's get, ro get rolling to get some tied Still using the Cummins 440, 444 series. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, I may do another video on something else because I was planning on getting. I meant to do the. Uh, what is that? Because uh, I got an engine sound from uh, Z Mods. It's like 34.8 DI. And I don't know, to me it just sounded weird. Maybe it's because I've never heard that engine sound before. Could be the thing, but uh, I'll let y'all be the judge of that. So, I'll probably do that in the next video. Uh, probably in the next couple of days, as long as I remember. Uh, probably tomorrow. Wednesday, I will be trying to, if I get off from work early enough, I can I'll try to get that Ethernet cable hooked up. I really want to play uh, the 5M servers to be able to role play. I would want to try that out with uh, GTA 5. And haven't really been able to because one, the laptop I was using before I got this computer uh, really couldn't handle the graphics. Some of the mods you got to use brighten up the ELS uh, lights on the uh, cop cars and all that stuff. I tried doing it, but whenever I did it, it just basically lost textures and everything. And right now, the USB adapter that I'm using currently is a crap Wi-Fi adapter. And the one before it uh, had it for about a month, and it just crapped out. So I'm tired of spending money on like, these expensive so-called really good adapters for Wi-Fi and not being able to push my internet like I should because I've been plus I got 400 megs internet service and it's not pushing it because these Wi-Fi units are kind of crap even though they say they push up to about 12 to 1300 megs per second uh, I only have 400 and yet it was uh great at first, but then it started to uh, just, every time I go to upload a video, it would just crash the internet. 
I mean, it would just quit, lose internet. And I wanted to see if it was just maybe the router went bad or something, or something going on with the router. Nothing. Because nobody else was having the same issue. And, uh, so I figured out that the USB adapter for the Wi-Fi is basically crap. And it was a Netgear one, so they could explain a lot of things. But not to knock them, but honestly, I've never had any good Netgear adapters for Wi-Fi. And I just, and I found another one that they, on reviews, highly recommend to use. But the problem is, uh, so I'm just tired of spending that kind of money because I'm going to spend $100 just to get a Wi-Fi adapter, which may or may not be good. You know, I don't want to take that risk for 100 bucks, so I figured I'd just give me an Ethernet cable. It's a 100 foot, uh, should stretch out long enough to run along my wall and everything, so that way it's out, it's out of the floor to my router, that way I just get to reconnect to my router. I'm just tired of dealing with uh, crappy US, USB adapter Wi-Fi units. So then I'll be able to, hopefully, be able to, uh, as long as it works well, be able to use the uh, download the 5M server and go from there with it and hopefully get some role playing for you all. I uh, noticed that a lot. There we've got like a getting closer to 200 subscribers. I'm really grateful that many of y'all find my videos interesting and I want to say thank you. And I love ATS. I really do. Especially with these mods that uh, that brighten up the, uh, especially this JBX graphics mod, it makes it look ten times more realistic in a way. This gives it more, I don't know, just gives it more color. I think. Kind of takes a lot of the rough, rough edges and stuff off. It was worse than this before I got it. Well, not worse, but it was just kind of jagged edge with it. Just kind of smooths it out a little bit more. Maybe able to tweak it some more, smooth it out even more. But I think it looks pretty good as it is. Let's do some interior driving. Don't hardly do that. I'm always doing third person. I don't know why. Supposed to be driving a truck. And you can't drive third person in real life. So, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get the interior view. Love my little Pac-Man hanger right there. You can get that on the SISL Mega Pack off the Steam Workshop. It comes with it. Um, if you're new to playing this game or you're debating on playing this game, it's worth it, I think. Uh, well, I don't think. I know it's worth it. Especially when you get to the mods and stuff, what people can do with it to make it even more better than playing your normal SES, but SES has been coming a long way with it, and they're starting to implement more trailers, more, uh, what's the word, uh, getting better and better at making their towns and stuff like that, so, eventually you probably won't need a mod, but, you know, there's always somebody to make it a little bit more than what SES can, uh, can do with the budget and everything, and there's amazing people out there that can do a lot of things. And I know a lot of this stuff's payware. A lot of the stuff I use is payware. And a lot of people don't like payware. I know they don't like paying for something. It's a digital game and everything. I mean, you don't have to pay for it. I mean, there's free, free trucks out there, free trailers, different ones that are pretty decent. Uh, but I think the payware ones, as long as they're good... Uh, we call it modder. Uh, really good at doing what they do. They, it's pretty much worth it because it's a one-time pay, and you get free updates every time the game updates, and crashes your game. So if you like using mods. To me, that's the best way to go. Is get, go for the pay where uh, there are some freebie uh, stuff, especially in the Steam Workshop. 
where that's where most of my stuff comes from. I do go to some websites to find something different than what the workshop has. I wish some of them would switch to the workshop, make it a lot easier. And because uh, I hate having to look for an update for it, fix some bugs and stuff that you see what's wrong with it and everything. Like somebody got to a But I mean, you don't have to buy the payware. But to me, I mean, the graphics mod, if you got a real good graphics card, I'm, I got a 3050 uh, with my new computer, RTX 3050. And it's not no super elite or anything like that. It's a normal 3050. And with all these mods I got onto this game, especially with the. Uh, JBX graphics mod, I'm still getting about 60 frames. Some certain areas I get a little bit more. I have ranged up about 80 frames. And that's with me maxing out the graphics and, you know, doing the recommended for the uh, JBX graphics to make it even more better uh, with reshades and everything. And I'm still getting about 60 to 80 frames. And I'm using an MSI uh, gaming monitor, 30, 31 and a half uh, inch monitor, curved monitor, with uh, a display port, so it pushes the full 165 hertz. It only goes up to 165 hertz, and with that, it's still, I mean, it's still getting really good frames. I really don't have any issues except for some areas if I've not been into the area before it has to load it up it only does it one time as it kind of lags out and glitches but whenever I go through it more I still don't lose no frames after that so I mean there's every once in a while I'll get to an area where I haven't been and it kind of glitches a little bit but I mean I can handle that better than my than what I used to have with my laptop and it would just basically lag all the time so my frames will drop drastically, and I don't know if my old videos show it, but it looks like everybody's skipping around. As if it's trying to catch up with itself. So, let's see if we get past this guy before he turns in. Uh, we're just going to go into oncoming lanes because I want to get past him because he's going too slow. So yeah, I mean, some payware is a lot better than others. Uh, there are some freebies that are really good too, really decent. Uh, and they do keep up with their updates. Keep it green, thank you. So I mean, it's just up to you what kind of mods you're looking for. There's modders everywhere. Uh, there's this one I'm actually looking into, but you gotta, it's a Patreon type deal. I think it's a Drobod, Drobods, I think is what it is, and from the looks of uh, his trailers and everything, I do like his trailers a lot, because his low boy, even though a lot of people still use the beacons, he is able to implement it into the tail lights itself, so it has a flashing light, your turn signal lights, and your, and your normal lights look, work, it all works together, and it doesn't have any weird looking, you know, uh, like, one light's brighter than the other. It's actually pretty even and well done. And I'm kind of thinking about doing that because it's only like, I think, five or ten bucks a month. Which ain't bad, but um, but it's a monthly thing. I, I like the idea. Uh, I'm just debating on it. If it was like a one-time pay and you basically get free updates all the time, then yeah, I would like to do it. But I'm just kind of, kind of a, I don't know, I already got enough monthly things going out of my paycheck, and it's car insurance bills, and some HBO Max that I pay for, because I ain't going to pay for cable. It's a lot cheaper just to use HBO Max than I usually get in some new movies. Like the new Batman movie that was on HBO Max, which was pretty nice. It had to 
going to the theaters. Even though I like to go to theaters, I just can't afford their cost of uh, candy and popcorn and all that stuff. And I don't really have that much time to go there. So, well, next week I will because of the fact I'm on vacation. And I cannot wait. But it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, I got a lot of links. Most of these mods I use are from uh, Steam Workshop. And if I get it from somewhere else, I always leave a link in the description. You just got to remember to uh, get updates whenever it's needed. Because a lot of times they'll add something to make it a little bit better. Or it's just because there's a little bug here and there. Of course, you're going to have bugs anytime anybody mods. It doesn't matter who you are. There's going to be bugs. People will point them out. You just, they fix them. You just got to be patient and deal with it. But if you like this video, like and subscribe. I like to earn your all's uh, watching privileges. I don't, I don't know what to call it, really. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's really nice knowing that uh, some people actually like my videos and everything. And I would like to have a thumbs up and a description from anybody who likes these videos that I'm creating. And hopefully down more down the road, I will learn how to edit my videos and make them a little bit more fun, uh, exciting. Because uh, this, these are all one takes. I'll only do one takes because I'm not sure on how to edit or anything. And I'm going to try to learn that over the weekend since I'm on vacation this week and get some more videos out. And I have an idea for a video since now I know YouTube has copyright free music. So I'm going to probably redo my game intro uh, and redo and probably make a video at once I learn how to edit a kind of a kind of a, f I'm not sure to call it, like a fun video, where it's not about driving, but it's something else, I, but you'll see it whenever I do create it, and I will give you all a heads up on that with later time coming, and I figured it'd be a lot, really fun, let's see how much further we got here, 56, getting 1% off that run, which ain't bad, uh, but I think to gain more, you'll have to, I'll have to uh, do like a thousand mile run, or, you know, something more more of a high run but other than that uh, thank you all for subscribing and if you're new to the channel and you're just baiting on it there will be new things so give me a thumbs up if you want to comment comment below nothing vulgar or anything that's I ask for some respect I try to get to it as quick as I can with answering but a lot of times I'm at work so if I don't get to it right away I apologize but with having to balance out work and doing these videos, it's kind of really hard right now. Especially whenever you're having to get up early in the morning and, and work all day. And I say some of y'all know, know the feeling. So other than that, I shall see you all in the next one.